Hello there and welcome back to Satisfactory Yes. <laughs> back on good old Satisfactory, ready for another day, ready for a nice beautiful Thursday. Um, we're back on here, back on a modded playthrough, and if you'd like to know what those mods are, the mods list is down in the description section of the video, along with a link to Satisfactory Mod Manager, so you can download and install mods for yourself, yes. Okay, so, a few things uh, have... Uh, developed uh, in between episodes. Um, I spent a few hours doing this, um, but uh, you guys have already seen setting up train lines and, and train stations and stuff plenty of times, so I decided to do a little bit by myself, because um, I had a little bit of time. Not, not as much time as I wanted, because I was busy with other things, but yeah, just a little bit of time. Uh, so I got some uh, train stations here. We got uh, Iron Mine Bra or Iron Mine Bravo. These have all got power, by the way, currently. It's temporary power, but it'll get it there. Um, also, I did forget to do this. But yeah, we've got... Uh, here's where our iron is going to be coming in. And some of our other stuff as well on this train line. This little train network I'm going to be setting up here uh, will end up at that island somehow. <laughs> it's not going to go the way I want. I'm going to have to figure out a different um, a different method. But first, while I'm think while I'm thinking about it, let's uh, let's take care of this. Just a real quick like. Um, also, if you have not seen it, it should have been out before this episode goes up. Um, there's an episode of uh, Seven Days to Die that I did with uh, Stu from Stu's Gaming Obsessions. So, uh, if you want to check that out, if you're interested in Seven Days to Die. You know, I'm just on the Seven Days to Die fling uh, recently. I actually, actually have been enjoying the game, which, you know, uh, you know, it's as much as I ragged on, uh, I've ragged on the game in the past um, about it and, and its developers. Uh, this game is quite fun still. I, I mean, maybe it's because of the. It might be just because of the. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to go on a rant or anything. I'm just saying that. Maybe it's because of the um, the the, uh, the building aspect of it, which has got me you know, uh, got me good there. <laughs> I do love building, as you can no doubt tell. <laughs> just a few buildings. It's just a few. It's just a few buildings. We're fine. I didn't build much, but yeah, I've got this entire rail network. Oh my gosh, it's night. Um, I've got this entire rail network all the way throughout here. Um, so we've got iron there, uh, we've got our copper coming in here, uh, sadly the copper, there's only one copper node, but it is a pier, so it will be a 600 line, uh, so we'll be bringing in way more copper than we need anyway, um, which will be fine. And if we do need this copper, this copper mine in the future, it will be hooked up to that island, uh, to that artificial island we're building, so trains could potentially come here in the future to deliver stuff to the city. Uh, we've got a limestone mine, Bravo, because we only have two. Uh, this is iron mine, or this is copper mine, uh, Charlie, because we've got two other copper mines um, currently with train stations attached. I mean, those ones. And this was limestone. So this one is bringing in way more limestone than it needs as well. We've got a 600 line here and a 300 line over there. Um, so, you know, we're bringing in uh, 900, just like the iron. The iron's bringing in 900, so uh, we're having way more than we need. Um, the rail network, obviously, you can see it's still in progress. It just kind of ends here. Um, the reason I haven't tried to connect it yet uh, is a few different factors. Um, uh, one of the main ones being, though... Whoop, let's go this way. One of the main ones being that the islands kind of... Um, outline is not done completely yet, and I need to have that done before I uh, uh, hook the train line up to it. It was going to go down the beach here, but this train station had to be as tall as it is over on this side, so this beach is no longer viable uh, for a train line. By the way, the, the only way these have power currently is this little power line. This is how I've been getting back and forth. Um, yeah. Luckily, I haven't had to um, 
I haven't had to move my uh, my train. So, I had the uh, materials I needed. I did move it once. I had to go back for... Uh, what was it like? Motors or something? I can't remember. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I spent a few hours the other day doing this. Or the other day. Yesterday. Sorry. I spent a few hours yesterday doing this. Um, oh, and also we've got trains here now. Um, so I put in the trains. I deleted the box. Took all the materials and... And put up these trains. So, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> We've got all of our trains in place. The stations are still not named yet. Also, I need seven stations, not six, by the way. I completely forgot about um, uh, Caterium, I think. Right? Because we've got we've got iron, we've got copper, we've got coal, so that's three so far. We've got Tecaterium, which is four. Um, then we've got uh, the uh, limestone, which is five. The sulfur, which is six. Yeah, so we've got uh, we got iron, coal, copper, limestone, sulfur, uranium. Caterium. Yeah, so we've got seven. Which is actually okay. I'm actually okay with this. Um, because uranium is extremely radioactive. So I was thinking, you know, I was just like, oh, you know, this is actually perfect. Why don't uh, we just have the uranium train bring the uranium... Uh, yeah, you know. You guys know. You know what I'm talking about, right? You understood that? <laughs> What the heck just happened? I just had a stroke, I think. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, the uh, factory that needs the uranium, why don't we just have the uranium train delivered directly to it in the same building? Because it's all going to be radioactive anyway all over there, so we might as well just put all the radioactive stuff with, uh, you know, with each other. Which is fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, I haven't, uh, the reason I haven't named these yet, because I, I just haven't decided which ones are going to be what. I suppose it don't really matter. Like, we'd have, we could have, like, iron, uh, copper, uh, limestone, um, deuterium, sulfur, and coal. Okay, so the other thing about coal, um, is there is no, there is no coal mines anywhere nearby like if i want coal i have to travel thousands and thousands of meters just to get some coal um just to get a train station on some coal um as you can see here <laughs> i've went uh so we've got this tower which is doing this this is the closest coal literally the closest coal this coal, I don't know exactly how far it is, but I know it's at least a couple thousand meters or a couple kilometers away. That is very, very far. These ones are right here. Um, so yeah, that's that's a bit unfortunate. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to... We don't need all that much coal. Let's see, how much coal do we even need? And then basically we'll just double it and then go from there because I'm planning on doubling everything anyway. Um, well, not, I'm not, I'm not going to truly double everything. I'm going to build for double, but I'm not going to actually do double unless we need... Yeah, we only need 200, so that is not that much. I mean, most of the... Unless that's an impure node, all the uh, mines, or all the... Uh, yeah, all of the uh, miners. There we go. I'm trying to think of the name. All the miners are already overclocked anyway, and they, they all do, unless it's on an imp impure node... They all do at least 200 or more, so that's just fine. So what I'm going to do is there's a train station that's already pulling coal uh, right here that uh, this coal train uses. That this coal train and this this um, station that's down there that's part of the water collection plant. The ones that that go for the uh, power plant, the um, uh, the coal burning power plant 
that one we're still it's still in operation but that train is always full like I never see it not full <laughs> which means we're not really burning all that much um, because it's got four mines on it I think we can uh, we can steal from that okay so that's what I'm thinking also over here I am taking up this sulfur mine now uh, so this is the closest sulfur um, and there's a sulfur mine alpha here because that's our very first mine of sulfur which does 300 per minute and how much sulfur do we need I should probably check that out um, I don't think we need 300 sulfur but there is that one the only problem with sulfur on this map is just like the uranium you're never going to find two sulfur patches next to each other now i could be i could be wrong about that because there might be a spot on the map that has two of them next to each other or near each other but um all the ones on on my current map <laughs> that i have here's a sulfur mine that's normal um the one i'm using here's a sulfur mine that's normal here's a sulfur mine that's pure here's a sulfur mine that's normal one so far just one next to each other. Also, I was thinking about grabbing the Caterium from here. Um, but then, and I was just like, well, then I could set up like three train stations. The only problem is this is like four to five thousand or four to five kilometers away. Um, that's the only problem with doing that. It's, it's just too far away. Um, that's the closest Caterium, I think, as well. Like the only Kater the Kateria mine we're taking right now, which is a pure, I think we're using. What the? Um. Oh, never mind. I forgot I built off the map a little bit. <laughs> it's just like these trains are out in the freaking nowhere land. <laughs> what the heck? Never mind. I'm stupid. Yeah, maybe that is something I'll do for the future for Katerium. We're also pulling Katerium from here too. We're pulling Katerium from anywhere else. Yeah, Katerium mine A. Oh yeah, I did put a Katerium train in there. Oh, there's a um, th there's a hub here. I forgot about this. I might. Well, it depends on how much Katerium we're pulling, because that's a nor. Oh, that's a pier. So that's 600. So we've got 1,200 Caterium coming in. Oh, what happened to my mouse? Why is it like this? All of a sudden, that's slow. Um, that's weird. Yeah, I need to go back to the. We need to go back to the city. See how much Caterium we're actually using. If I can pull from that mine. Uh, that'll be fine because the other the one that's right underneath the city that one's just a belt there's no train station connected to that so yeah let's go check on uh, that Caterium um, also we're gonna be checking out something else uh, as well I've noticed that the power usage has went down considerably so we're gonna go check on what's going on with that I think we're we're finally starting to back up on some things okay now we already backed up on AI limiters pretty much anyway. Um, okay, assembly directory systems. So yeah, we backed up. Yeah, we have completely backed up on assembly directory systems about freaking time. <laughs> it's pretty insane. It's nice to be able to see a full belt of uh, assembly directory systems, considering these things take forever to make. And I, I don't know if I'm going to put them in or not. I think what I want to do is I want to back up, um, if we have, have or have not. Better recover around here. The game may crash around this area. <laughs> There's too many things. Too many things going on. Eventually, I need to go around and do a map cleanup of all my things. Oh, there goes the uh, supercomputer. Oh, so we must be backed up on supercomputers, too. That's pretty nice, actually. Oh, that's a two meter. 
you can you can actually slide up on uh, one meter. Go up, slide uphill. <laughs> So yeah, we haven't, we haven't uh, backed up on either the uh, high-speed connectors nor the supercomputers. We're still making them, though, at least. Everything's still working it so far. Yeah, everything's still working. Okay, let's go check on that uh, Caterium, which is just over here. And combined with that stuff, you can get across the city pretty fast. <laughs> There's a wall missing here. Yeah. This aluminum sheets. Yeah, I think there's gonna there might be a production line that uses aluminum sheets eventually. Okay, so Caterium We're making twelve hundred wire, we're only using two hundred and forty. Let's go check on the actual Caterium. Uh, what you call it? This thing, the Caterium Ingot Factory. So we're using eighteen hundred per minute to produce six hundred per minute. So eighteen hundred. So that's. Wait, do we got more coming in? It must be. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have made that hub there if I didn't have another train. Uh, there must be another. Caterium station. No, there's not another Caterium line over there. Oh, here. Normal. Okay, so we've got 600, 1200. Yeah, we've got 600, we've got 1200. 13, 14, 1500. We must have more. Must have more coming in, right? I wonder if there's any Caterium over by this stuff. This is the Red Forest, or whatever you want to call it. I've also noticed all the uranium mines are all impure, which is a little bit unfortunate. Really can't do anything about it, though. But I'm probably going to end up using these three at some point. This one's pretty far away. This one, obviously, pretty far away. This one's even further away. This one's a long ways away, no matter which way you go. I don't even know how much Caterium I'm pulling in. This Pulling in one there, which is a pier, so that's 600. That one's 600, so that's 12. And then 13, 14, 15. Yeah, this one's just going straight to here. There's a few around. I need to pull in another pure though eventually. Yeah, it looks like I'm not pulling in enough anyway. Um, oh, you know what we could do? We could pull these two normals. Oh wait, no. There's only one there. No. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Not like I thought it would anyway. Oh yeah, I know this one. <laughs> I know that one well. Mm. Yeah, I might have to pull in, pull in that pier one there. That seems to be the closest to the network. There's also another pier one here. We might have to pull this one and this one, uh, which is going to be interesting. So we're going to have a rail network going from here because this is. Looks like that's down in the swamp area. 
Um, I'm gonna need a train station here. Um, well, not he well, not here. Well, maybe here. I'm, there's a there's a couple holes. I might be able to pull the, the belt through. But if I can get a train station here and here, then I can pull these two. Um, so 15, 16, 17, 18. Then I'd leave 19. Just so I'd leave 300. Okay. Interesting. Oh my gosh, the lag is unbearable right here. Ugh. Maybe because of the power stations. Holy crap, man. What is the FPS? Hold on, we gotta do this. FPS. Wow. Yep. It's pretty bad. <laughs> that is pretty bad, a pretty bad frame rate. And yeah, uh, turning down the graphics ain't gonna help that. What it is is it's uh, it's CPU stuff. The, now the CPU isn't maxed at all. I don't think anyway. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. yeah, CPU is pretty pretty up there. <laughs> it's about ninety some percent. So we're starting to get into the green a little bit. <laughs> this is not anywhere near as much. I like that you can see these train stations here. I've been kind of going with this right here, this little design. It's been pretty cool. Yeah, CPU has calmed down a little bit. Yeah, that's all CPU based. It's just because of the calculations and stuff. I mean, when you're out of range of it, when it's in, um, it might go into like a lower quality mode or lower computing mode where it's just numbers rather than having to do visual as well. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I know this game, this game is graphics card. Like, uh, it definitely uses your graphics card, but nowhere near enough what it should. Um, uh, I think it needs to rely on the graphics card a bit more. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely heavily CPU based. <laughs> anyway, we've uh, wasted enough time, I think, um, messing around. So if we were to do that, if we were to pull in that, uh, that pure Caterium, of course it'd be an inbound train to go to that hub. And then we would be pulling from the hub to here with another train. Let's see. Where's our criteria? It's just over here. Yeah, that uh, that will work. Um, that'll be enough for both systems. So, yeah, I think that's uh, that's what we're gonna do here. And by the way, if you're wondering what CPU I have, it's an i7. Uh, the i7 is like 70 something K. I can't remember. Uh, 40, no, sorry, uh, 4790. It's a 4790 K. Uh, 4 gigahertz, if that matters. Which is weird. It says it's 4 gigahertz, but the speed is always 4.18. Like it's just naturally overclocked a little. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, yeah, so, that'll, um, that'll be good there, um, to pull in stuff. So, okay, but, uh, today's plan, um, yeah, we're definitely gonna need more because we can only do 150 right now. Now, if we get another, or if we get a tier 3 miner, we could pull one mine, uh, one uranium mine, and that would work. Um. But I figure since we're going to be pulling Caterium right, like a, a Caterium line right by a Uranium, we might as well take that Uranium as well. Um, plus this will end up being like 500, so 
I don't know what tier 3 does on an impure node, but uh, it probably ain't 500. <laughs> so we're probably going to need both mines anyway. Uh, 150, 300, that'll be good. Uh, 637, that'll be good. Or sorry, 673, 74. 600 and 674, I think uh, that's what that is, right? Uh, and then 400 and 400. Uh, I'll have to see exactly how much uh, that's pulling. So one mine of sulfur would be per is perfect uh, for that. In the the city uh, for the sulfuric acid, we're going to need for like batteries and such. There's another normal node here. Uh, unfortunately, the only pure one I've ever found so far is this one clear over here. So if we need a pure node, there's one clear over here and we could probably tie it into the uh, bauxite line to bring back. That's a long ways though. That is a long freaking ways for a train. But this one could be just built it, I think. It's pretty. It's close enough to the city. I'll just, I'll just belt it uh, directly over. And that'll be a 300 on tier two, so eh, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, everything else, the current mines we have already getting ready to hook up. Those will all work uh, just perfect. Um, doubling everything because I was thinking of eventually we would double just for fun, <laughs> just so we could have ten of these babies just going. That's a lot of power. It's a lot of power, baby. Lots of power. Okay, so. Um, just trying to think. Um, so yeah, that Caterium mine and that Uranium mine I'll do in my own time. And get that hooked into that uh, real network, that bauxite line. Because that's, that's the only place I can tie into. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Um, in my own in my own spare time now that I know what I need to do um, and whatnot so but uh, yeah we need to get figured out how we're going to start making these factories okay so like I said I'm gonna plan on doubling everything um, so 125 per minute how many production? We gotta keep these small as well, um, so we might have to overclock um, some of these factories. They gotta be they gotta be pretty dang small because uh, we need to fit a lot of them on a small island. Um, so smelter. So if we need, uh, so five times two, that was 150. So 150. Can this do 150 being fully overclocked? cannot but we could have two of them fully overclocked okay um so that one's doing copper the steel is going to be a little bit harder actually no the steel can do for the foundry stealing it fully overclock that and yeah we can we can get that well 84 point 84.38 38 84.38 times 2 168 so we will need two of these probably fully overclocked if not a little less it's fine it is what it is we should be good um i just wanted to check those and uh, what about the Caterium? So Caterium. 37.5. That, that's it, huh? So 37.5. So we got 50, so we need 100. So let's take 37.5. So that's going to be three. Okay, so three of those. 
Um, oh, we're going to need even more steel than that. Next, yeah, we got these, and then we've got these factories too to work on. We don't, luckily we don't need any iron mine, or iron factories, iron ingot factories. Okay. So, yeah, we'll work on the smelter. So, basically the way I want it to go is I want it to go on the other side of this main road. Um, these are where the factory is going to go. It's just over here. We're in our yellow suit. <laughs> yeah, on the other side of this factory, or the other side of this factory, the other side of this road here that we built, um, just on the other side of this, is going to be where some of the factories are. Because like I said, we need to fit them on a small, on a small bit. Now what we might do is we might do smelters, and then constructors, and then assemblers, and manufacturers, and blenders, and I don't know. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Um, what we might do is we might separate out with a little road. So what I'm thinking is we have a little road here, and we just kind of grid this up a little bit. Oh my gosh, the lag! <laughs> it's getting worse. I mean, I understand. It. I understand why it's getting worse, but. Damn, is it getting worse? Okay. Okay, so what we might do is we only need three yeah, we only need three different things smelted, right? Like we need copper, we need steel, and we need caterium. Those are the only things, right? That needs smelting. So if we put all the smelting stuff on one side of the island. And we can kind of keep it all in that area. We can kind of grid it up as well. Yeah, because it's it's steel, copper, and caterium. So we've got more copper there. We're gonna need. Uh, yeah, nothing else goes in a smelter. It's just steel, copper, and caterium. Okay. So what we do is we put iron, copper, and coal. Or iron... Iron, copper, and caterium, and then coal. We'll put coal over here. Or should we put iron and coal? If we put iron and coal next to each other, that will be good. Um, Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, interesting. Yeah, I think though what we'll do is we'll put the we'll put all the smelters on this side of this road. Um, currently. So let's go do this. Gotta put these down. The lag ensue. <laughs> There's plenty of room. I think. I think the space is the the space we have now should be all the factories. Every single bit of factory that we're gonna need. Obviously, we're still gonna have a sidewalk and everything too. So, but yeah, we're gonna put the smelters all on this side. Um. Okay. So let's start off with um. Copper, I guess. I'm not really sure. But yeah, basically we need to take as as much copper, um, or take our copper number and double it, and then um, we'll just overclock everything. That'll be fine. Okay, so we've got 75 copper plus 125. So that's 200. That's 200 copper ingots, isn't it? Yeah, because this is one to one. Yeah, copper's one to one. 
Well, kind of. Or is it? I'm not sure. 125. So the 125 goes to the copper sheets. So 200. So 400. Um, 400 copper ingots all together. Okay. We'll start off with copper, and then we'll do caterium, and then we'll do. Um, and then we'll do steel. So copper is probably going to be one of the bigger buildings. Like I said, it's got to be tightly packed. We don't really have the room or luxury of room. Here. Um, okay, so how many cell smelters are we going to need? Um, caterium, caterium, copper. So 75, so we take that 400. Divided by 75. That's 5.333, so 6, essentially. 6 fully overclocked. Yeah, that'll be that'll be easy enough. So Seven eighty divided by four hundred. Wait, what am I saying? So it's four. 75, 75 times 6, it's 450, okay, yeah, we can run one belt, alright, I just, just checking. Okay, so, we can put it like this. So we'll give each one of these their own foundation to sit upon. Kind of. I'm trying to, I was just like, what the heck? I can't, I can't get power off of these. It's also going to be basic factory stuff, so. Um, I'm not going to worry about too much how it looks like. Let's see, logistics. Oh, um, nine. So yeah, we're just going to bring it in straight from this side. I think. not going to look pretty, but it's not meant to. Or it's not really meant to, anyway. Just whatever it, whatever it takes to get the job done, right? There's still going to be buildings, but yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be very tasteless, you know, like the city. <laughs> um, still going to use some of my little tactics here, though, to try and keep things organized, at least to some degree. Just like what the heck? <laughs> I haven't put them in yet. Control C, 
Control V. Does that still work? That does. I always like to check. Control V. Control V. Okay, Control V. And Control V. Yeah, okay, that's all six. All right. So that's going to produce a little more than we need, but I'm not worried. Okay, now let's get our walls in here. This one's going to be a pretty short building because it is a uh, it is a factor or it is like a smelting factory. So I kind of want to stick the tops of them out the roof. I don't know why there's lag over here. It could be Windows. I know Windows 10 earlier was running some update stuff, so it could be what's going on here. It just keeps lagging. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what those little dips are. Yeah, if we experience another one. Ah, uh, I think I know what it is. Okay, yeah, that was a disc. You know what it is? It's a biome. <laughs> There's a uh, section of biome that's being loaded. Or a section of the map that's being loaded. See, it always happens right there. Yep, right there. Yep. <laughs> we must be right on the border. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop it. Is it, oh, you know, it might be a corner. Yep. See, that's like loading over there. Okay. That's what's going on. Yeah. That's actually kind of annoying. <laughs> it is what it is, though. No. Oh, we'll just do... Um... To a merger, we'll merge that way. I think I, I don't really know how I want to uh, merge everything uh, precisely. Okay. Well, you know what we should do? We should actually maybe come out of the roof. So that means I'd have to design the roof. That's not, that's too high. You know what we could do? We could just lower it. Yeah. Maybe. Oh my gosh, that... That is insane right there, that loading. <laughs> We're right on the border of it, and it's just... Uh, it, it, it irritates me to no end. Stuff like that happens. It's not the game's fault. Well, I mean, it is, because it's the way it's structured, but also it's not the game's fault. <laughs> because of reasons. I don't know. So what we'll do is we'll do this. I want to drop this down a meter. Um, and just doing it with the micromanager is just faster. Yeah, that's much better. So yeah, I'll just stick the stacks out the top. Oh, the power cables. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So a lot of this is going to be plain. Uh, you know what I suppose we could do? Oh no, that won't work. That's an interesting 
problem to have. <laughs> it's, it is kind of interesting. They stick out of the roof, like fully. Kind of do, actually, yeah. Oh, you know what? I don't know if it's anything to bother with. Yeah, maybe, maybe we just don't bother with it. However, I'm gonna change this to tar roof. It's gonna be plain roof, tar roofs. Like I said, all the pictures that I find of real, like, uh, real life, uh, uh, I'll say uranium, but it's not it. Nuclear power plants. There we go of uh, nuclear power plants, the real pictures and stuff, all it is is like one main building and then a bunch of little buildings and they're all gray and they're all, they're most of them are flat roofed and just plain because it's, it, they're not for looks, it's for function. And I like that because that means less work for me. <laughs> yes, less work for me. You know, I don't mind these sticking out like this. I mean, for one, most most people are not going to see it, but for two, it actually looks kind of cool. I might be doing that in the future. Plus, you can't see the wires, really. I hate this glitching. Let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, that's a pretty easy fix. As long as I select the right ones. Okay, it looks like I've selected all the ones on one side. Change that to tiny. Slightly offset. There. Now it's not glitchy glitchy. <laughs> that glitching is kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm also thinking too. Yeah, we'll just put all the, um, the splitters and mergers on the roof. Uh, to be like a... Uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, the only problem is it won't line up with these. Oh, no, it will. I just... No, it won't, actually. Interesting. <laughs> it just won't do it. That's fine. So, yeah, I think I'm, I'm coming up with a rule now. Now that we've kind of got what we want. And it's actually not looking too bad. I'm coming up with a rule now with the um, with these that the factory um, can only be two walls tall and no taller than that. You know, like it can be shorter, of course, if we want, but it cannot be taller than that. And what this does is it forces me to put stuff outside the building to kind of give it a little more of a, a factory style look. Um, which I think it'll look pretty cool on. Alright. So now all that stuff is outside. Now we should be able to connect to all that pretty easily uh, with our conveyor lifts. Um, we we'll have to, we'll have to remove a bit of roof so we can see what we're doing, but that should be pretty darn easy. lag right there. <laughs> it's actually really irritating. He keeps doing that. Just because we're right on that edge. <sighs> so yeah, we'll just do this. 
this. And yeah, since it's right up above. Oops. So I have to put the roof back. Yeah, no floor holes needed. <laughs> Now we'll do this side. I mean, if we want to put floor holes in, that's hard to do. Trying to think, could we could we connect to these? Like we were to do this. No, that's that's why, okay. Yeah, that's that's why I can't do it. Um Yeah, we we can't um use the actual actual things because they're off the what I'd have to do in that situation if I wanted to use the actual floor holes is I'd have to put foundations down put the floor holes in delete the foundations put the roof back then connect the lifts that way and it'll be it it'll be off and stuff like that I've already tried just for some reason the roofs putting floor holes on the roofs is a little bit weird yeah it's just doesn't work out for some reason. <laughs> like it's, I think it's one meter off or like half a meter off or something like that. No, it's half a meter, yeah. yeah it is half a meter. It's not one meter. I'd say half a meter because that's just the way it is. Um, yeah, so we'll just, well, if we want the floor holes, we'll have to put them in kind of artificially almost. Like that. Just use the uh, the micromanager to move them. I mean, we could put them in place and just not use them as well. That'll also work. Uh, let's see how we gotta disconnect all this. Now these ones will be a little bit different um, as well because of where the splitters are. They're so close to the machine that. Can only what the heck oh those are <laughs> i was like that's a weird looking lift i forgot i had mods there so we could do this um, just trying to see where to put the floor holes seven so like this Again, these are just for show. Okay. Like I said, a lot of this is going to be quite fake. Uh, the way this uh, stuff is built. Oh, whoops. That should have been. Oops. Should have been there. And that, uh, that micromanager mod is handy, huh? <laughs> oh, wait. What? Those were in the right spot? Wait. Um, now I'm confused. Yeah. 
And you can always tell if you're connected to the thing. see what happened. Hold on. Oh, I should be able to move these without issue. Yeah. It's because this one, uh, this one was one behind and this one was one forward. So you see the center line here? This one was here, and then this this leg, but the center line was actually back here instead of in front of it. So that's why. <laughs> that was a whoopsie. Somebody probably spotted that when I built it and went. I wonder when. It, I wonder how long it's going to take him to fix that, <laughs> to notice and fix. <laughs> so that's why those uh, uh, these holes were in the wrong spot, or in the different spot than the other ones. fix now. Just making sure I get the right ones. Okay. Hmm. I forgot to breathe again. <laughs> you guys ever do that? I uh, forget to breathe while you're concentrating. Three. I think what I'm going to do with these as well, something I should have done with my other buildings, was instead of, or where I was uh, like merging everything, which is merges down the middle. Um, Oops, that's not down the middle, is it? That's down the middle, though. That wasn't correct. That one should be, though. It's a fully, a fully belted factory now. <laughs> fully belted factory, as far as within the internal area. And then of course this one, three, is going to uh, should I have it go here? Or should we have it on the side of the building? So we can always do that too. Like have it come out. I do have some power. Now, the only problem with doing that is you get this little thing here, but eh, maybe it's not so bad. Uh, we can always do this too. You don't even notice the change. <laughs> and then we could have this just belted uh, to the edge here. Actually, the main problem with doing that is that we're going to have to go higher because of the train line. Because the train's going underneath. Are the, I'm curious, actually. Uh, do I have enough to do this? I think I do. I just want to, I want to see something. Okay. I do not have the motors. 
I am out of motors. No, I was gonna grab motors too while I was in the forgot. Ah Actually, what's the other train? The uh the progressive train. Hey, we do have the beacons as well. Oh that's right, because yeah, because I deleted that train over there. Okay. It's the same height, so it should work for this little experiment. Alright, so the train is taller. Okay. So if the train can clear if the if something goes over the train and the train clears without hitting it, no other vehicle will hit it then. Because yeah, all these are all obviously much smaller yeah, than that train. Okay. So if it can clear the train, that's fine. Which I know exactly how many of these uh, conveyor poles clears a train. This one right here. Yeah. That's what we do is two, three, four. So we need to get, we need to have it at that height. Um, of course, I can drop down like six. Might have to use the, yeah. I have to use the old trick. Covered belt. This is a botted lift. Actually, that's not even short enough. Three. Yeah, that's not even short enough. Okay. Um, let's go one more then. Okay, now can we use a normal lift? Nope. Still have to use a covered lift. Ah. Oh, you know what we could do as well? Instead of doing it here, just do this. That way the building's supporting the lift rather than this mess. And it'll look better. Okay. Oh, and of course, can't forget. Change that to a Mark V. Uh, three. Oh, you know, it's something else I'm not thinking about. Okay. I'll have to do that as well. Oop, there goes my power. Um, is... Yeah, we need to put this in the middle. Okay. Yeah. The reason we need to put it in the middle is because a single hole for a wall is in the center. So if we build around that idea. Then it's not a problem. Okay, so then we're gonna get rid of this. Spank that belt. You're supposed to use the belt for spanking, not spank the belt itself. <laughs> What'd the belt do? The belt didn't do anything wrong. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so that looks good there. And that is a Mark V as well. So then we go to the other side. Actually, that's perfect as well, where we put that. Three. Oops. I'm 
glad that reaches. <laughs> Holy freaking crap, man. It's crazy. Alright. Nice. It's actually, it's, it's a nice little factory, you know? Nice little factory. Okay, and then what I was thinking was, we do this. We make little blocks based on the factory size. What do you think? Oh wow, the lag's even worse. Pretty bad, pretty bad lag right there. And then, yeah, we just do that. That'll look pretty good, I think. Uh, get rid of this. Alright, sweet. Well then, um, that uh, puts us at the end of our episode. We got one factory done. We did a lot of screwing around, though, I, I will admit. Um, but uh, unfortunately, that is going to be it for this episode of Satisfactory. Um, so yeah, if I get some time, I'll uh, get to that. Uh, I'll get to that Caterium and Uranium mine, uh, getting that hooked up to the the rail network, uh, so we can start getting that stuff delivered as well. Um, and I think yeah, since uh, this since this little rail network is pretty much done as well, I'm gonna get it down to this beach over here. So that it's uh, roughly at the level that that this is at, and then we'll bring them in, and then put a T crossing, obviously, or a T junction, and then bring them in like that. Um, that way we can start getting that stuff delivered to here, and we can start uh, production on some of these things. Um, yeah, uh, making more factories. That'll have to be next time. So. Like I said, that is going to be it, so I do hope you enjoyed, and until next time, I guess it's a goodbye. <laughs>